Hey guys, it's Mr. V over here doing a book review today for Night of the Living Dummy by R.L. Stein. This is a Goosebumps book from the original 62 book run. This is book number seven. Before I get into my book review, I want you to know that I try to do a spoiler-free book review. So let's get into the book review today for Night of the Living Dummy. So the basic premise for this is about twin sisters. They discover this ventriloquist dummy in a dumpster one day and they think it's a cool dummy. One of them wants to become a ventriloquist, so they take the dummy home and they name the dummy Slappy. But when one sister uh, starts doing the ventriloquism, the other sister gets jealous, so she wants her own dummy as well. And the family gives her the dummy, and they name that dummy Mr. Wood. But after they have both dummies, weird things start to happen to where the sisters wonder, are the dummies coming alive? So that's the basic premise for Night of the Living Dummy. So this was the, uh, this is book number seven, and this is the seventh book that I read from Goosebumps. And I have to say um, that this one was very, this one was super creepy. Like right from the beginning, this one was super creepy. And this was one of the craziest starts. Like I enjoyed the start. And I also loved how Arl Stein introduced the main ventriloquist dummy Slappy. So it's very early, like right from the beginning, he introduces it. And it gets creepy very fast. Uh, one of the ventriloquist dummies is Slappy. The other one's named Mr. Wood. And he introduces those two dummies very, very quickly. And that's why uh, things get very creepy very fast. And there was even like one chapter in there or one scene in there where there's like this moonlight sequence where like there's like a moon shining on like Slappy and they kind of like just, he gets this like really creepy smile. And he just describes the scene so well that you can just really like just envision it. And it's just, it just does, he just does a great job with it on that. He does a great job describing it. And this book I say was a lot of fun because so many like weird and creepy and fun things are happening to where it even makes you wonder like, are the dummies coming to life or what is going on? Because what's going on and it's just, again, because so many creepy things happen. And there's even like, he even puts like twists in the book, which is really cool. And I don't want to spoil anything, but there's just some cool twists in the book. And it basically, you were always continuing, like wondering like what was going to happen to where I didn't even know how this was going to end. And that's always a good sign for a book when you don't know how it's going to end because it shows in that it's not predictable and it's still like a lot of fun. And I think one reason was that this book was a lot of fun was not only the storyline that he did well, but he did a great character development. Uh, the main characters are just two sisters, but um, he did great character development because he shows sibling rivalry very well and that played into the story very well. It like heightened the story and made the story better. Uh, for example, one gets a ventriloquist dummy, so the other starts to get jealous, so they need it as well. But then like, he's, there's just other aspects, I, I can't spoil it, but there's just other aspects of sibling rivalry that he captures well and then it mixes into the character development which then mixes into the story and just like everything becomes better and it just helped build overall and it was just great. Now, now as for the end, um, I judge an end by many things. First of all, did you like it? But also does it kind of wrap everything up and like, you know, things like that. But I, you know, I thought this one had a great ending um, because this was a very unpredictable end. I said earlier, I didn't know how it was going to end and this is a very unpredictable end and it was also a very creepy end, which was great. So, you know, I, I just thought he did a great ending with that. The only thing I didn't like about the book, or you can almost say the end, is he kind of left, like, he didn't finish one plot line. Like, he talked about the plot line a lot, and then he just didn't finish it, really. So I don't know why he did that. But that was the only thing I didn't like about the book. But, you know, so far, you know, this is the seventh book I've read from, um, from Goosebumps. And this is definitely one of the best ones that I have read. And I've heard many people online, a lot of people put this in their, of the original 62, a lot of people put this in their top 10, someone put them in their top five. And I can definitely see why, because this one just did a great job. You know, the storyline was great. He just had a great creepy factor in there. He had just great character development. And you're always wondering like, what was gonna happen? And then again, it's just continually creepy, but then you didn't know how it was gonna end. And then the ending was just great. So, you know, I was just, he just kept building like one thing after another. And that's why I can see why so many people like this book a lot. 
So our, you know, I highly, highly recommend this book because this one was a great addition. Um, now, I always rate my uh, Crusoe's book as either an A, B, C, D, or an F. So for Night of the Living Dummy, I definitely give this one an A. This was so far one of the best that I've read. Again, I've only read seven of them, but so far this is one of the best I've read just because it had so many great things about it. But I highly, highly recommend that you guys go out and read this book. If you guys have any questions or you have any comments, please post it in the comment section below. I hope you guys click the subscribe button as I always upload multiple different types of book reviews. But thank you for watching my book review today. This is Mr. V. Go enjoy reading.